playing with my favorite toys. Hi everyone, welcome today. We are gonna take a train ride to learn all about the Disney princesses. I cannot wait to hear their stories. And all the toys you see here, we can find links in the description. So let's get aboard, choo-choo. I'm gonna sit over here on the red wagon. I'm gonna sit on the green one. And I'm gonna sit on the blue one. Oh, my feet are too big. Maybe I'm gonna sit down. Okay, finally. And I'm gonna sit over here. <laughs> I'm gonna drive the train. Is everyone ready? Oh, my nose is too big. Choo-choo, let's go going. Our first stop is number one in red. Do you wanna know which princess is gonna be? She loves to read. Who could it be? That's right, it is Belle. Hello, friends. Do you wanna hear about my story? So my dad was a very good inventor. So one day he took off to present one of his inventions and he got lost in the woods, but he found a haunted castle. So he went in and the beast that lived in the castle locked him in prison. And I saw his horse coming back without him. I went out there to look after him. Yes, and this is how we met. I said her father can go if she stays with me. Because back I have been cursed by a witch because I have not been friendly to her. And she turned me into this beast. I am a prince indeed. And she gave me a rose, and when the last petal falls, I will be a beast forever. But if I manage to find someone who loves me like this, the spell is broken. Yes, and we fell in love indeed. Yes, and not even the villagers could keep us apart when they wanted to hunt down the beast. I told him that I loved him, and I lifted the curse. The end. What a wonderful story about Belle and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast, right? Isn't she beautiful? I love that story. Thank you for sharing, Belle. And I'm so excited to see which princess is gonna be next. Choo-choo! Next up, we see number two in orange, right? Let's move Peppa and get the two on our train. Princess number two is Pocahontas. Hi there, friends. So my story is very interesting. My people live in the woods and we appreciate a lot nature and all the animals who live in it. So one day, the king of England sent a ship to explore our land and they wanted to find gold. But we told them, no, here's no gold. That's when I met John Smith and we fell in love. Our people began fighting and we managed in the end to find peace between our two people. And John Smith and I fell in love, but he got injured during the fight and he had to return to London. Oh, kind of a sad ending, Pocahontas. I'm glad you had your friends. Yes, I love my little raccoon and my little hummingbird. They are the best. Remember to appreciate nature and all the animals in it. Will do. Let's get going, guys. Next up, I see a yellow number three. And which is gonna be the third story you will hear today? Here's our next stop. Oh no, you can't see the numbers anymore. Here's number three. One in red. Two in orange. Number three in yellow. I'm gonna sit on top of number two. <laughs> Number three is going to be a story about Rapunzel. Hi, how are you? So my story is my mom got really sick when she was pregnant with me. So the only thing she could eat was the magic flower Rapunzel. Now when I was born, I had magic hair. So Mother Gothel stole me away from my parents because she wanted to have the magic hair all to herself. It kept her young and healthy. She locked Rapunzel in a tower. Can you imagine? And in the tower, Rapunzel felt very lonely. 
One day, a young man came. He just had stolen the crown of the missing princess, and he tried to hide up in the tower. Rapunzel told him she's gonna help him and give him back his crown when he takes her to the city, because they always celebrated her birthday with lights, and she wanted to see them in person. He did help her get her, but Mother Gothel came and lured her back into the tower. But the young man came and rescued her. He cut off her magic hair so Mother Guthel couldn't use it anymore and Rapunzel got to go home. She was reunited with her parents who had never given up on the missing princess. That's why they celebrated her birthday with the big lights and everyone was so happy. Rapunzel and the young man had fallen in love during their journey and lived happily ever after. What a nice story and what a beautiful princess. I wish I had hair like that. <laughs> Back on the train, Peppa. There's so many more stops ahead of us. Choo-choo. In a lighter shade of yellow, we have number four here on George's wagon. And princess number four is Princess Jasmine. Yes, hello, everybody. I live in a land far, far away. That is why my pet is a tiger. Hi. Mwah. So my story has been my father wanted me to marry. But I told him, no, I just want to ma marry someone I really love. So I ran away. I met this young man called Aladdin. He was so nice. He helped me help a little poor kid get an apple. But... The man who was owning the apples alerted the guards and they took Aladdin and locked him away in the prison. One night a strange man came and said he would let him out if he would help him find a magic lamp in a cave that was cursed. So he went in and his little monkey Abu touched something. So the cave started to collapse and they got out on, in the last minute on a magic carpet. In the lamp was a genie and he said Aladdin had three wishes. His first wish was to become a prince so he could marry me. But I didn't like this prince. I didn't know him. I liked the guy from the market. So in the end, the consultant of my dad, he was evil and he wanted to become the sultan. So he took the lamp and he was the one who lured Aladdin into the cave. Worst of all, he wanted to marry me. But Aladdin tricked him. He said, the most powerful man on earth is the genie. So he wished to become a genie and we managed to lock him into the bottle. Then we set the genie free so he doesn't have to fulfill anyone's wishes. Aladdin and I got married and we lived happily ever after. Wow, wow, cool. A tiger as a pet. I want that. And what a fascinating story. Let's get back on the train. One, two, three, four. What comes after four? That's right, number five in green. Put it on a train. George, you gotta move. Make room. All right, one more spot left. Let's see. What is princess number five story? Hi, I am Cinderella. And I lived with my evil stepmother and her two daughters. They made me do all the chores. I had to do the cleaning, the cooking, the laundry, everything. One day, the king said that the prince has to marry someone, so he threw a great ball. But my evil stepmother said I could only go if I fulfill all the chores. I couldn't because they gave me so many just to make sure I wouldn't go to the ball. But in the end, my animal friends helped me. But I still needed a dress, right? So my fairy godmother came and she got me this beautiful dress at the ball. The prince only had eyes for me and we danced all night. But I had to live at midnight and I left my beautiful glass slipper. The next morning he kept searching for me and luckily the shoe only fit myself and he recognized me and the two of us got married and we lived happily ever after in his beautiful castle. Wow, I love stories about magic. Let's see what the next story is. And who is going to tell it? One, two, three, four, five. And number six. This is the girl who's going to tell the story. Her name is Mulan. She pretended to be a man. And I took her to the army. 
Yes, I didn't want my dad to go and fight because he was already injured. So I trained to become a soldier and I fought against the evil guys. But I got injured myself. So they found out that I'm not a man but a woman and they sent me home. On my way back, I realized that the threat was not over. They wanted to harm the emperor to take over China. Me and my friends rescued the emperor and I got to return home with my horse and my little dragon and my cricket for luck. Ooh, a cricket for luck? I could use that. That was an impressive story, Mulan, and thank you for saving China. What a beautiful country. What number is going to be next? Number seven in blue for mommy pick. Hi, everyone. I am Princess Aurora. When my parents had me, they were so happy they threw a big party, but they got, forgot to invite one of the fairies. Everyone wished me beauty and song, but she wished that I would prick my finger on the spindle and drop that. Can you imagine? Luckily, one of the fairies hadn't wished me anything yet, so she said I should not drop that, but just fall asleep. Who? The fairies took me with them just to keep me safe from the evil fairy. And before my 16th birthday, I met a young man in the woods and we fell in love. But the fairies told me, no, you cannot marry him because you're already betrothed to some prince. I'm like, what? So the fairies took me to my parents for my big birthday party. And there the evil fairy found me. I pricked my finger and I fell asleep. But luckily... The prince was the man I fell in love with, so he came and broke the spell by giving me a kiss. Mwah! And we lived happily ever after. Oh, I love happy endings. Me too, Mommy Pick. Let's get going. Chuk, 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 chuk. I see a blue block with the number 8 on it. Who is going to be princess number 8? Hmm. <gasps> It's Moana. Hi, everyone. My family and I, we lived on an island and I was always curious about going out in the ocean exploring it, but my dad said it is too dangerous. But one day, we didn't have enough food, the coconuts turned all black, we didn't have enough fish, and my grandmother gave me this beautiful necklace. She told me, it's the heart of Tifiti. This one, yes. So I took my best friend, a rooster, And we tried to find the semi-god Maui to help me. He refused to help me in the beginning, but I promised him that I would help him find his hook to get his magic powers back. There was this scary crab who was hiding his hook, but together we managed to get it back. And then we tried to find Tefiti, but there was this evil monster, Teka, who tried to keep us away from her. In the end, I realized that Teka is Tifiti. Her heart was broken because Maui stole it, so she turned into this evil lava monster. I gave back the necklace to her, and she returned to be Tifiti. My island started to blossom again, and we had enough food, and my father wasn't as afraid of the ocean anymore. What a happy ending! I love it, Moana! You are so brave to go out into the ocean by yourself! Wow! And you learned sailing from Maui? Impressive. What comes after number eight? Number nine in purple. Who is going to be princess number nine? It's going to be two. Who could it be? Hmm. Two princesses who live together? Hi, friends. It's Elsa and Anna. Wow. Would you like to tell us your story? Sure, when we were kids, we loved to play with Elsa's powers, but one day she accidentally hit me and my hair turned a little gray. So our parents got scared and they said we had to hide Elsa's powers. They kept us apart our whole childhood. One day they went on a ship and they never returned, so it was just the two of us and I felt so lonely without Elsa. On the day of her coronation, we opened up the gates. I thought I met the love of my life. I introduced Hans to Elsa and told her that I want to marry him. So Elsa got really angry and her powers came out. Yes, I tried to hide in my snow castle, but I came after her. Yes, and I met Kristoff and Sven. They helped me find Elsa and on the way we found Olaf. Yeah, but we got in a big fight. So Elsa hit me again accidentally with her powers and my heart started to freeze. Hans came after Elsa and locked her away in prison. 
Yes, but I got myself out with my powers. And I came after you because I saw that Hans was still not finished with you. He wanted to hit Elsa with his sword, so I jumped in front of her and he hit me. But by that time, I was completely frozen. Yes, I thought she was gonna die. But I hugged her and I cried for her. And only love can thaw a frozen heart. In the end, everything was person. Elsa became the queen of Arendelle and we locked Hans away for sure. And I had fallen in love with Kristoff. And Sven, of course. And Olaf. What a beautiful story. Thank you for sharing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What comes after number nine? Number... It's a one and a zero. Ten. Here we go. And this is going to be our last princess. I am Snow White, nice to see you. So I also had an evil stepmother, just like Cinderella. And she had a magic mirror. She would say, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? And suddenly the mirror said, it's not you, it is Snow White. So she sent me away into the woods, hoping to never see me again. But that is where I met the dwarves and I started to live with them. They took good care of me. One day she asked her mirror again, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? And again the mirror said, it is Snow White. So she got so angry, she disguised herself as a poor old woman and came to the dwarf's house. She gave me a poisoned apple and I choked on it and dropped dead. The dwarves were heartbroken and one day a young prince came by and he saw me and said, what a beautiful princess. He instantly fell in love and asked the dwarves to help him carry me to his castle. And by carrying me, they moved the apple that was stuck in my throat and I came back to life. I fell in love with the prince too and we lived happily ever after. I'm still baking cake for the little dwarves. <laughs> And the evil stepmother got so angry that he, she jumped off a cliff. Wow, we practiced our numbers and colors today and heard so many beautiful stories of our Disney princesses. See you soon! Why there to learn more?